Okay, so this is Stacey. Um, who's just come back for her assessment um, day today. So Stacey, you actually trained, finished your training how long ago now? Um, so I finished it at the end of January. Yeah, so yeah. only sort of about seven, eight, nine months ago, yeah. basically. Yeah. And obviously before you trained with Katie, mm -hmm. um, you were, what were you doing up until that point? So I worked in banking for um, about 12 years, then yep. um, I had my third son and went on to maternity leave and basically it wasn't going to work out me going back to work, so I started in Nails yep. um, and then I saw Katie on Rich House Poor House I was like, oh, I'd love to do that. And my husband was like, well, why can't you go for it? And then I'm here. So. Excellent. And actually, so we're only sort of nine months into your new business as yeah. such. And we normally, when you come back for your assessment day, we require about 15 models case mm -hmm. studies. But how many have you done, roughly? I've, th I've done about 80. About 80. Uh, about 80 people. Wow. Because um, I ordered 100 aftercare leaflets and I'm <laughs> down to like, about, I think I've got about 10 actually. So oh wow, so you've done nearly there. 100 clients yeah. in your first sort of uh, first part of the year. Yeah. Wow, that's obviously fantastic. And um, and so, so how's it actually been going with the clients? And um, obviously you're obviously getting a lot of clients in, which is yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it's, to be honest, it's been amazing. It's lovely to be able to work. I don't feel like I'm working basically. They're very happy, um, you know, you're giving something to somebody that you know you can't I don't know how to put it into words yeah. basically they're so happy that I get tingles when they're like oh thank you so much you know the hugs and the reviews that I get it's just it's been amazing and I just want to keep helping more people basically excellent and obviously so, you know setting up your a business for the first time and I only yeah. did nails for a short period of time yeah. in the run-up to it didn't you yeah and, and what's the sort of difference because obviously what um, did you charge for nails when you started doing nails so nails is 25 pounds so um okay I'd have to do a hell of a lot of nails to do basically what I'm, I'm getting yeah. now each month which is crazy because it takes the same amount of time as well yeah exactly so 25 pounds so. and what are you charging for an average um you know permanent makeup treatment yeah on average it's about 260 yeah um, so 10 but, times what you yeah. earn on nails yeah for the same time and that's at the moment so um, and that's just in your first nine months yeah. yeah so it's been pretty amazing to be fair Wow. Yeah. And, uh, and obviously, what were your goals when you set out to achieve initially? Because obviously, you must have had some things about, you know, maybe paying your training feedback, things like that. That was the main goal. I right. thought if I can get my money back, you know, even in a year, I thought that yeah. that was probably not attainable. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've already done that. Yeah, wow. Um, and more, but and change. Yeah, exactly. And I've been able to save up a little bit now as well. So I've been able to do silly things like book a holiday for the family. You know, just not worry so much about yeah. um, money, but ultimately, you know, changed my life and how I'm working um, around the family as well. So no, it's all it's all been brilliant. That was the main goal, though, to pay off the training. Yeah. Um, and just have the freedom. Basically. Well, I suppose, yeah, and that's the thing when you got you got is it three boys? Three boys. That's yeah. it. So you need yeah. a bit of flexibility, and I guess a life in banking probably doesn't agree with that, does it? No. Not at all. It was things like if I wanted to go to an assembly and being told that I can't go, oh no, you can't go because there's no cover. That was like, I, I just couldn't have that anymore. Yeah. Um, so for me to be able to go, actually, do you know what? No, I can go. Yes. That's worth so much on its own anyway, just the freedom. You know, to be yeah, able to do definitely. That. Well, that's it. As you feel like you're missing them growing up a little bit, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's all for nothing otherwise. So. And obviously, you had a similar things with Katie because obviously Katie, when she first started doing it and doing successful, you always have a few doubts and stuff like yeah. that. And uh, did you sort of suffer a little bit on that side of things as well? Yeah, I think some days you're like, oh, can I do it? Like, I'm not sure. Is it? How is it going to keep going? Is it going to keep going? Is it going to stop? But I think it's okay. I think if you put the effort in, yeah, then you know you're going to get the results and it has been hard work it's yeah. not easy and it, you know I've, I think I've aged about 10 years <laughs> but um it's worth it in the long run so I just want to keep going now and get better and yeah. busier and that's it and if you put the work in the hard work in at the beginning which you've obviously done just yeah. still in your first nine ten months of actually running your own business yeah 100 clients paid your training feedback booked a holiday yeah and now got flexibility around the kids as well it just yeah. goes to show that if you do put the effort in you can have that lifestyle change as well yeah, no, it's been amazing and has it been useful to have kate at the end of the phone as well if you ever need her yeah it's been you know i know kate's really busy obviously but if i just want to check something really quickly you know she's text me back and let me know um, pretty fast so yeah no, it's been great excellent and today and today we've obviously you've actually 
done really well technically. We have, we've worked obviously on a few things technically, but obviously the next stage now is to work a little bit more on the business side. Mm -hmm. So has it been useful to come back and sort of um, have a bit of a refresher as well? Yeah, it's, I mean, I've got so many notes there and I can't wait to get into it now. I'm like, oh, you know, it's give me a refresh. And as I say, I've got a lot to work on again, which is yeah. good. Um, and see what results I can get just from making those little changes. And I know it's been, it's been really worthwhile coming back. Brilliant. And also, not only that, when we actually think you're only sort of nine months into a new business, really from a non-beauty background, because mm -hmm. you only started doing nails sort of a, a little bit. Yeah. Um, you've actually, you've, you've been up for awards or, you, or, or been named sort of one of the top yeah. places to go to or something like that yeah. as well. I haven't put it out there yet. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, well, this is an exclusive. <laughs> yeah. Um, next week, basically, there's the UK Brow Awards, which... I've been shortlisted as a finalist for. Wow. Um, and then for the UK Hair and Beauty Awards 2023, um, for Rising Star and Best Salon Decor again, um, wow. finalists. So, so basically, it. effectively, like three shortlists for awards yeah. or finalists in yeah. your first nine months. Yeah, it's a bit mad. <laughs> so when people say you can't do it, there you go. It's a yeah. perfect example. Yeah. No, well, it's been great. Brilliant. Well, well done. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing, uh, you know, how you progress. Um, yeah. And I'm sure we'll be seeing you collecting one of those award wins very soon. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Brilliant. Take care, Stacey. Thanks.